R. Vagdarigar, working as an assistant professor in computer science and engineering department at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we are going to discuss about the scheduling criteria and different scheduling algorithms. At the end of this lecture, students will understand the different scheduling criteria and also get the basics of scheduling algorithms. Now let's see the basics of scheduling algorithm. So now when multiple processes are came for the execution purpose in main memory, at that time we need to schedule this process to get the proper utilization of CPU. Means the different CPU scheduling algorithms have the different properties and the choice of a particular algorithm may favor one class of process over the another. So this scheduling or the this selection of the process for the execution have a many criteria. The first one is CPU utilization, throughput, turnaround time, waiting time and response time. So now let's see the CPU utilization. So now CPU utilization means what? CPU utilization means keeping the CPU busy as much as possible. How to keep the CPU busy? That is a basic question. So now, <coughs> when processes are going to execute, at that time process needs the CPU and also they needs the input output devices also. So now, while switching for the IO, IO device, at that time CPU is idle. So at that time we can execute the another process. So in that way we can utilize our CPU. So conceptually, the CPU utilization can range from 0 to 100%. In the real system, it should be ranged from the 40% to 90%. So now, throughput. Now, throughput means what? Now, throughput is nothing but the number of processes that are completed per time unit. That's called this throughput. Means, when the n number of processes are in a ready queue for the execution purpose, so at that time, in a given time period, the number of pro processes are executed. That is nothing but the throughput. For a long process, this rate may be one process per hour. For a short transaction, it may be the 10 processes per second. <coughs> turnaround time. So now turnaround time is nothing but the interval from the time of submission of a process to the time of completion. That is nothing but the turnaround. The turnaround time is the sum of the periods spending waiting time to get into the memory. The waiting in the ready queue, executing on the CPU and doing the input output. So that is nothing but the turnaround time. Now waiting time. So now waiting time means what? Now when the different processes came for the execution purpose in a main memory at that time all these processes are in the ready queue for the execution but due to some interrupts or due to some higher process priorities <coughs> these processes are in the waiting so now it affects the only the amount of time that a process spends the waiting in the ready queue the waiting time is nothing but the sum of periods spends waiting in the ready queue now response time so response time is the time it will start responding not the time it takes to the output to the response it means what that is nothing but there is the time from the submission of a request until the response is produced means when one process is submitted for the execution purpose and now cpu is executing that process and we are get and cpu is giving the response so that is nothing but the response time the turnaround time is generally limited by the speed of the output device but here it is the it it takes the time to start the responding it is desirable to maximize the cpu utilization and throughput and to minimize the turnaround time waiting time and response time so now let's see the different scheduling algorithms so now first one is the first come first serve scheduling 
शॉर्टेज जॉब फर्स्ट शेड्यूलिंग प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग राउंड रॉबिन शेड्यूलिंग सो लेट सी द फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व बेसिस शेड्यूलिंग With this scheme, the process that are request the CPU first is allocated the CPU first. The implementation of the FCFS policy is easily managed by the first in first out queue. It means for the implementation of this FCFS, we need to use the queue concepts. When a process enters the ready queue, its PCB is linked onto the tail of the queue. When the CPU is free. it is allocated to the process at the head of the queue the running process is then removed from the queue means what basically we'll see what we'll have process p1 p2 and p3 here so now here we need its bus time so now here this bus time is nothing but the total time required for the execution of that process now let's see here 10 20 and 30 so now this is nothing but the bus time so now while execution the in fcfs manner the first p1 has can then it's going to execute the p1 and then p2 and then p3 so now this one is nothing but the gan chart for the so now let's see the shortage of first scheduling in the shortage of first scheduling the process with the minimum bus time it's going to be execute the first this algorithm is associated with each process the length of the process next cpu burst when the cpu is available it is assigned to the process that has the smallest next cpu burst time if the next cpu burst of the two process are the same the fcfs scheduling is used to break the tie note that more appropriate term for the scheduling method would be the shortest next cpu burst time because scheduling depends on the length of the next cpu burst of a process rather than its total length means here it's going to say that when this process are going to be execute so now while executing the minimum burst time is going to be executed first so that is nothing but the scheduling uh, so now we'll see with the example here so now let's see the priority scheduling algorithm in this priority scheduling algorithm like the burst time will have the priority for the each process now here the highest priority process is going to be executed first so now here equal priority processes are scheduled in the fcfs order that is a very important concept because if the priority of the two process are the same then there is no need to get confused here we are going to follow the fcfs order the low number presents the high priority basically this is depends on the different systems so now let's see now like the bus time here we'll have the priority also now let's consider we'll have the zero 1 and 2 as the priority for the p1 p2 and p3 so now here in this example first p3 is going to execute then p1 is going to execute and then p2 so now this is the sequence for the execution of the different process for the priority scheduling p p3 has the lowest priority so now here in this way we are going to execute the process with this so let's see the round robin scheduling algorithm in this round robin scheduling algorithm here we need to give the time quantum or we can call it as a time slice it means each process is going to be executed for the specific time period only let's say consider in this given example in this example we have taken the bus time as a sorry time slice is equals to 
फाइव मिली सेकेंड्स सो ना हियर इज प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू एक्जीक्यूट अप्रोक्सीमेटली फॉर द फाइव सेकेंड्स ओनली सो लेट सी द फर्स्ट पी वन विल एक्जीक्यूट फॉर द जीरो टू फाइव देन हियर वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट्स रिमेनिंग टाइम सो ना इट्स रिमेनिंग टाइम इज फाइव देन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्जीक्यूट पी टू फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स सो ना हियर इट्स रिमेनिंग टाइम इज फिफ्टीन सो ना पी थ्री इट्स फिफ्टीन सो ना इट्स रिमेनिंग टाइम इज ट्वेंटी फाइव so now again we'll start for on the first one now p1 here now it's 20 now here p1 has been completed its task no so now we'll go for the p2 it's 25 now its remaining time is now 10 now then p3 30 now it's 20 so now in this way we are going to execute each process for the specific period of so that is nothing but the round robin scheduling so now is scheduling of algorithm affects on the throughput of the system pause the video and write your answer yes cpu utilization in depends on the type of scheduling algorithm it's going to use if the system is unable to execute many process in less time then it affects on the throughput of the system references operating system concepts from the galvin system programming and operating system from the dumdere thank you